In this video, we're going to be installing the IR kernel for Jupyter Notebook in macOS Big Sur. Now, this system has a fresh installation of Big Sur, and I've only installed R and Jupyter Notebook prior to this. To show you why we need to install the IR kernel, I'm going to start Jupyter Notebook. That's going to open a browser. And I'm going to go over to New. Now, when I click New, you'll see that I only have the option of creating notebooks with Python 3, not R. So installing the IR kernel will allow us to create R notebooks in Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to open up the R console. And then I'm going to type install.packages, and then parentheses, single quote, I, R, kernel, where I and R are both capitalized. Kernel is lowercase, single quote, close parentheses, and hit enter. We're going to be presented with a list of mirrors to select from, because we're going to be downloading the software. So I'm going to select the zero cloud. I'm going to click OK. This will download and install the software. And once it's finished, I need to make the kernel available to Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to type I, R, kernel, again, I and R capitalized, colon, colon, install spec, that's install S-P-E-C, open and close parentheses. This will make the IR kernel available to Jupyter Notebook for the current user. So I'll hit enter. And you'll notice that we get an error message here. Now I left this in here because you may or may not see the same error depending on how you've installed Jupyter Notebook and how your path is set up in your system. In this case, with the fresh install of Big Sur, R is requesting the environment and containing the path from the system itself and not using the environment that say we've set up in bash or C shell. So we're going to fix that. So first I'm going to type sys.getenv open and close parentheses and hit enter. This is going to display all the environment variables that are currently being used by the R console. And if we scroll up, we're going to find one called path. And you'll see this is actually the default path that's set up by the OS. It does not include the directory where we install Jupyter Notebook. So if I go back to a terminal, when I type echo path, you'll see that the first part of the path is the same, but at the end, we have our bin directory in our user account where we've actually installed Jupyter Notebook. So we're gonna to need to add this to the environment that R is used. Now it turns out there's a file called R environ, which we can modify to do exactly that. So the command I'm gonna run is actually echo, and in quotes, I'm gonna put path equals dollar sign path, close quotes, and I'm going to redirect that output to a file in my home directory called .renvirom. And in my case, this file doesn't actually exist. So we're really going to be creating this file with the contents of the path. So if I were to cat this file or output it to the terminal here, you'll see that now this file exists and its contents are path equals to the same path that was in our environment. Okay, so we're going to go back to the R console and we're going to exit. And now I'm going to restart it. And I'm going to type sys.getenv once again and hit enter. And we'll scroll back up and find path again. And now path includes the bin direct where we've installed Jupyter Notebook. Now we can once again type IR kernel colon colon install spec. And this time it completes successfully. So now if we switch back to our terminal and we run Jupyter Notebook, this will again open up a notebook server. And now if we go to the new button and click it, you'll see that we now have an option to create notebooks using R. 